Welcome to the PACT pod, a chance for us to get together, talk about PACT and the things that are going on. Tonight, I'm joined with Dom Salvucci. Dom, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dom Salvucci. I'm the regional director for the Southwest region of PACT. And, right, and I'm Eric Vernon. Oh, sorry. I'm Eric Vernon. I'm, I'm the South Central Regional Director of PACT. Um, and uh, we're working together to talk about and highlight the different things PACT has going on. And what do you think this week, Dom, we should talk about? I think since the KTI Summit is rather fresh in uh, recent past, we should go with that and have a little discussion about the events of that week up at Chippensburg. All right. Now, I know you got a chance to uh, come visit for a day as all of our regional directors get that opportunity to do it. So why don't you walk us through what you thought of that day that I believe it was Thursday you came into town. Uh, Thursday, it was July 29th. It was a great day. Um, you guys had the schedule posted, which you have that weekly schedule, um, as always. And Thursdays are the day that the regional directors come rolling into K the KTI Summit. I had two really good sessions in the morning. Uh, the first one was turning TDA into TD yay, um, working with getting kids in, excited about writing in the classroom. And the second one was creating your journey with Google Earth, both pertain as a social studies teacher uh, in the wheelhouse of what I need to do with my students. And they were very informative, uh, very entertaining, and as usual, um, a lot of good information. And we had a lot of people could kind of hang out. And I saw you there throughout the day. I'm um, about to catch, touch base with a bunch of people that I haven't seen in a while because of the lockdown and everything else. It was, it was nice. Uh, getting face-to-face -face time with people. And I was going to say, the other nice thing about that day is we get to introduce all of the campers to our regions. So what was that, yeah. that, that like meeting your uh, region members? Uh, it was great. A lot of new members. Um, we had around 11, I think, 11 people for the region. Get to find out where they're from, share ideas with them, and uh, learn about the different districts. We had a very diverse group from uh you know all over our region which was nice it was a good showing from our region this year and it's it's Indeed. awesome having the people that have been going all year they are all week they've been hearing from different lead learners that are there and some of them are all of them are PhD members some of them are on the board some of them are regional directors and they're getting the to hear all that then it's kind of cool to see their faces when uh the lead learners that they've been learning from and and hearing from all week now are standing next to them and they're a part of their region. And they're like, oh, my word. You know, a couple of people said that to me because I do have the fortune of being a lead learner again this year. And um, when it was time for us to meet as our, our region and I was able to introduce myself as the regional director, you know, it's funny how you get some of those smiles that people are like, oh, I didn't realize, you know, I'd be working with you doing the different events. And But it is cool to, to, to you know, really get to know those people, see them come in and, and really the excitement. That's really what it's about, like that excitement they have on that day to be a part. And, and excited. So what, what, uh, what's one of the first things your region has kicking off as far as getting everybody together? We have a post KTI meetup next week. Um, we're actually holding it out in Monroeville. It's the Eastern section of our region. We haven't had a lot of activity out in that section as I, I talk with my hands here. <laughs> um, but we have a number of people coming in from that. I, I posted to the new KTI star from this year and a lot of them were from that area, so we're having an event out in their region, and they're excited and they want to be active in PACT, which is a great thing. That's awesome. Our our region also has uh, an event where we're going to be um, just sharing different things. So it's not necessarily directly related to KTI, but I do know there's a lot of uh, people that were just at the KTI summit that'll be attending. So it's always great to see them, and the cool thing is they get to look for us and all the activities we're doing. Uh, so what, what I thought would be a cool thing to do is we have uh, with us a, a gentleman who's going to share and talk a little bit about actually two sides of the coin, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're going to have Tom Tanson uh, come on stage, and he's going to share with us a little bit about what it was like to be a camper and then what that awesome feeling is where he you know put himself out there and applied, and then he was able to become a lead learner. Lead learner. So let's pull in Tom here to the PACD pod. Welcome, Tom. Hey, how's it, how are you guys doing? Doing Good. well. All right, well, tell us what you do, uh, you know, during the day when you're not wearing your superhero lead learner cape. 
So um, I'm actually a biology teacher uh, at Liberty High School in Bethlehem. And uh, that's, and I'm also a member of the Northeast Regional Board with Karen Steigerwald. So. All right. Awesome. So uh, let's, let's go back. What year of KTI were you again? I was KTI 2016. Okay. And then just kind of, you know, give, give us uh, some thoughts about what it was like being a camper going through leading up to it, the, the week that happened, uh, you know, maybe post KTI, go ahead and take us on, take us on a little uh, journey there, Tom. Yeah, sure. So um, when my principal told me that I was nominated for KTI, I didn't know what that even meant at first. Um, so I started looking into it because at that point I didn't know really anything about PACT or KTI. Um, and when I moved on to actually get to KTI, it was, uh, as a camper, it was very overwhelming because I'm very introverted. And when you show up to KTI, the people that are there, even if they are, they pretend to not be introverted. And it's like lots of energy. And so it was very overwhelming, but I didn't know what to expect. And I was really nervous about it. Um, but as the week went on, it was just really a great week. We, I, I met lots of people, um, connected with people, learned lots of great things. Um, once I started to like really get into the week, I realized that it wasn't as crazy as it seemed starting out and um, that it was the best professional development I've ever had in my entire life, uh, even all these years later. Um, and so it was just, it was just a really great week. And then um, from there, you know, KTI kind of spurred a whole bunch of stuff for me. I, for one, I ended up deciding to go into educational leadership. So I'm studying, uh, I'm studying my, getting my master's in educational leadership. And that I attribute partly to KTI and giving me the confidence to do that. Um, I also have attended um, PNC, which I didn't do prior to KTI. And I presented at PNC because of KTI. Um, so that's stuff that I wouldn't probably wouldn't have done if it wasn't for KTI and the people that I met there and the, the connections I made and people just giving me that confidence that you can do this. And it's good. It's good stuff. Um, I also, as a result of KTI, learned about, well, I knew about standards-based grading, um, but KTI kind of like spurred me, pushed me to not let the traditional system stop me from doing something innovative um, because that's what KTI is all about. So I ended up running um, standards-based grading in my middle school classroom for a number of years. And that was all as a result of what I learned at KTI in 2016. That's awesome. So then, yeah. so, so you leave KTI you have these new ideas, you're doing different things, you're, you're pushing the envelope a little bit. And, and really what I like to say is, it, you know, in the end, it, it, you were who you were. It didn't, you know, it just but gave you that confidence to really push and be the best you could be. But then the most, the, the ultimate thing is you went and you didn't hold back to do what was best for kids. And that's what you've been doing. So now take me on the journey. Oh, good. I was going to add just, I think KTI re-energizes your passion. I think it takes what you already have. And like you said, it's who you are, but it, it brings it back out. So after years and years and years of being in the classroom, you know, KTI takes, puts you around people that think like you and that are like you, they care about kids, they care about education. So you just get re-energized. And I think that's what led me to like going further with what I was already on a path so somewhat starting out to do. But before you talk about your experience now as a mentor or lead learner, um, what would you say, how would you describe like your relationship with the KTIs from the year that you were a KTI? Um, well, that, so I've kept in contact with some of them, but, and especially like there are a couple that are lead learners that I'm very close to. And we were, we knew each other back in 16 um, one of them who's on staff in now was actually in my group. So in our um, project group that year. So I've still been in contact with them and um, others maybe more uh, informally and just in passing. But like, it's nice to have people that you know, when you go to Pete and see when you, you know, on Twitter or through email, you need an idea or you need to bounce something off of someone. That's, these are people that you can turn to that you, these connections you made through KTI. Uh, that's the one thing a lot of people consider almost like a, a second family. It's a nice support group and, and the connections you make are, are pretty strong. That's awesome. Yeah. Great question to pull that out. You know, uh, and, and one thing you said, Tom, when you were talking about that re-energizing, it actually reminded me of a conversation I had with one of our current campers this year. 
Um, and I know I shared it in our large group. I'm not sure if you remember. He talked to me about how he pretty much was like he was uh, resigned to the fact that this was going to be his final year. And at the end of the year, he was going to retire and uh, kind of hang up his uh, hang up his his grade book and the whole deal and clipboard. And um, and he said, you know, it was like Thursday night. He said, you know, after going through this week and just hearing some of the things and just being around some of the people, he goes, yeah, I'm not done at the end of this the end of this year I, I have more i have more gas in the tank i'm ready to roll so that's awesome kind of ties in with that same thing so now take us on the tom tanson journey from kti 16 to kti lead learner yeah so i left kti and i went on to to kind of go the standards based grading direction in my in my school district um, using what i have learned and just like you know advocating for it like we learn at kti you lead and advocate um, and then in 2017, that summer, I was like, oh, I'd love to go back. KTI was like, again, like the best professional development I've ever been part of. It re-energized me. I made great connections. Um, but I still felt like, you know, my, my introverted personality wouldn't have been someone that would be great on staff. So I like let my doubt stop me from applying in 2017 to be on staff. Hmm. Um, and so I just didn't apply in 2017. And it was out of my own like self doubt on things. And then when uh, 2018 came around, I was like, you know what, I'm doing exactly the opposite of what KTI is. I mean, KTI is put yourself out there and, and do what, what's right. And I want to be re energized, I want to get back into this connection into this family, as Dom, as Dom said, and as we always say, the KTI family, get reconnected and be part of a of even more, you know, a new family. Um, so I applied to be on staff and I was accepted to be a staff member in 2018. And then the, basically the rest is history. I've been involved since 2018, 19, 20, and 21. And uh, I think each year I get more involved. Um, you know, the first year I kind of started out just like following, you know, learning, doing all that kind of stuff. And um, each year I've added on committees and even come to be chair of committees. And so uh, getting more involved in the actual summit. And uh, it just, that's the kind of stuff that happens as you, as you go through it and you grow, you, you grow yourself, but you grow everyone around you. And it's just a, you, everyone's learning from everyone and kind of giving everybody that re-energizing piece that everyone needs. Yeah. And, you know, I've, I've seen that firsthand, you know, you, I was a part of a committee of yours when we worked on curriculum and you know what, this was not an easy year to, to be a part of that because of everything going on in the world right now and how uncertain it was. And we had a lot of meetings and uh, a lot of healthy discussion. Talk about a family sitting around a table in essence, you know, we were all on zoom, but having some great discussions about, you know, what to do and, and things went off. And, and I will say, what's the other committee that you're in charge of that does little surprises throughout the day. I love that committee. And that would be a part of the, uh, STEM challenges. Uh, yeah, I'm STEM challenges committee chair. Um, and I, I love that committee as well. I'm lucky to be part of that. Um, I think that's fun to have that surprise every, uh, every day. You don't know when it's going to show up and there's a new challenge. And I think they, um, it energizes the, the attendees, the stars. And so, yeah, I mean, it's just great to be part of it. And, I, and then I'm a part of like the admin day and I'm part of a, other, a STEM night. So just being part of things as chair and then just as a member of the committee, it's just, it's great to work with everyone and you make those connections and you learn from everyone while you're doing it. Um, and you're just creating the best week that you can for the new stars. Um, but you also are creating the best week for yourself because that's, you're there, you're learning, you're re-energizing as well. That's awesome. Yes. All right. Well, make sure to check out at Tom Tanson on Twitter. He's very helpful when you reach out to him for any questions. He's got a lot of stuff going on. I appreciate you being a part of the show. I appreciate you being a part of KTI, man. All great right. You enjoy job. the rest of your evening. Thank you. It's great to be here. Dude, uh, that's awesome stuff. You know what I, what I, I, the STEM challenges, it's like the hidden curriculum of KTI. Like I learn different activities that they're doing that I'll pull into my classroom and that's not something that people sign up to be a part of. Like everybody gets to experience it. So in essence, it's its own style of curriculum stuff that teachers yeah. are going to use. And, and Dom, you know what it's like when you get teachers in a competition. Oh, it, it gets, the adrenaline gets flowing. People are trying to outdo each other and you get a lot of collaboration too, which is nice. Um, yeah. That was the one thing 
because I got there a little bit later in the morning, um, driving up from home. And it was great because walking around floating amongst the tables, I ran into two new stars from my area that are working either. One uh, teacher is new to kindergarten, just got moved. Another was working on mentoring teachers. So it was great to be able to pair them up and see that collaboration spring. There were two different tables in the small group uh, component that morning whenever I, I got there. But it's nice seeing the collaboration, nice seeing the competition and get people throwing ideas around. And it gets intense. It, it's a good intensity, I have to say, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, you know what? Lean back there a little bit. Because speaking of competition, you know, you know, <laughs> our, our, our PACT does a lot of different things. So talk to us about that shirt, man. Um, Race of the Regions, which started a, a couple uh, Pete and C's ago, lead up to Pete and C. And uh, Southwest Region happened to just win this, the Golden Shoe. We are the step winner. It's a step challenge. Uh, runs usually December up to Pete and C, late December up to Pete and C. And for two years now, the Southwest has retained won and retained the Golden Shoe. Mm, so we're hoping to awesome. free Pete. There's a lot that's that goes on stuff. at PACT. Uh, speaking of things, the week after um, KTI, you and Tom were running something going on there that we do on a monthly basis. The, uh, oh yeah, KTI. well, uh, it, yeah, the KTI chat. Um, yeah, it was actually I, it was actually another one of the STEM challenge guys, Greg Macer. Um, yeah, we were running that. So every every month we have a KTI chat, and if you've never been a part of a Twitter chat, it's definitely uh, you know, fast and rolling, and it's it's but it, it's really good conversations. A lot of really neat things going. Um, and then we also have an out of state region chat, I believe, uh, that's coming up. Is that right, Tom? That's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, right. thirty. Uh, they do put the topics out for people, so you can kind of have an idea of what you're getting into. Great, they're short, they're sweet, and they're very informative. Good way to connect with, keep connected with people. I wouldn't even say connect, but keep connecting with people, and. Um, getting new ideas. That's the big thing about PACT. Um, back, you know, I, I miss KTI, but it's, a, it is, as Tom said, it's a great way to get, you know, rejuvenated, get fired up with things and kind of recharge your batteries. And even these, um, you know, KTI chats in the out of state PACT chats, get some great ideas pulled in you can play around with and implement in your classroom. Yep. And I'll put it up on the screen here. You know, make sure to keep checking out the website for activities. we got all sorts of things going on all throughout the state and out of state. So www.pact.org forward slash calendar will get you to the calendar and, and check out the different events. And to go to a lot of those events, you just have to become a free member. Uh, so go ahead and check that out when you're on there. You click on membership and join and you can become a free member. And some activities do it, you know, require you to be a premium member. And that's a, a $35 fee that we, we have every year. Uh, feel tax free to deductible. sign up and eh, tax deductible for sure. And there's a little checkbox on the, the teacher observation. Are you a part of a professional organization? And if you're not, give PACT a shot. Uh, last thing we'll finish off here. Let's talk about tech tidbits. Do you have any tech tidbits to share tonight, Tom? Um, a couple different items. I'll keep it short and sweet with one. Uh, the one item I use in my classroom is commonlit.org. It is free. There is a pay level, but I use a free level. It has a lot of um, subjects uh, as a social studies teacher. And also uh, when I taught psychology, has a, a content area that students could read. It's informative. It meshes with my um, curriculum and it can be set up to adjust to students reading ability and ask questions based on that reading ability for content. It's a nice little uh, activity I, I roll in with the students on occasion to kind of keep them honest and do some uh, informal assessments, formative assessments as we go through. All right. Awesome. And, yeah, you know, I'll I'll kind of, yeah, I was going to kind of jump off. Of, no, you're good. I was going to kind of jump off the point of when you we brought up the, the chats and the KTI stuff and, and the Twitter chats. Um, and it's not necessarily Twitter specific, but it's Canva. I think it was back in 07, maybe 08 when, um, uh, we had uh, Guy Kawasaki actually speak at Pete and C. He's one of our keynote presenters, and he is doing a job that I aspire to be. He is the, um, e the, the the technology evangelist of that organization. So he's the Canva 
evangelist, going out speaking about the software, man. That, that's like the dream job for me. I'll go geek out on stage and uh, get paid to do it. Um, but Canva.com, if you go in and make an account, you can sign on as an educator and you get access to a lot of their premium features, a lot of their different backgrounds, different shapes. Uh, but what's really cool is now they have social media. You can do animated GIFs. Um, you're able to pull different things in. So what was really neat about the KTI chat is we were able to kind of create graphics, preload all the questions, and then we were able to kind of fire them out. So it was less work. You're not typing all of that stuff. Um, but, you know, if you're looking to do anything in your classroom, whether it's just adding um, some style to your Google Classroom, I was just in there making animated headers for my Google Classroom this year, um, even just pulling up different things. I really wanted to, like, start using their, – they're trying to pull in a classroom concept. So I really want to get my kids to make some infographics that relate to math or science or the different things that we're working on. Um, just, you know, another creative way. So Canva.com, um, sign up and then choose – go in and choose that you're an educator. And then the site you were talking about again, Dom, was? Commonlit.org. Commonlit.org. All right. Well, that's all the time we have here for PACT Pod. So any final thoughts there, Dom? Uh, no. That's pretty much it. We had great guest. Um, you know, and hope to keep this going and into the future, bring more people in and hear their stories. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to PACT Pod, being a member of PACT, you know, the voice of EdTech in Pennsylvania and beyond as we're going out of state. So thank you so much. Have a great night. Good night, everybody. See you.